Hello students, welcome to Learners Chemistry. In today's class, I am going to explain about what is ionization enthalpy and why ion, uh, second ionization enthalpy is more uh, than uh, first ionization enthalpy and also which factors are going to affect ionization enthalpy. Just watch complete video and if possible you can make a notes for this one because it, this is the more important question for your IP and the shortcuts I am giving in this uh, um, uh, class that will be useful for your objective also okay so we can start our class before that i just want you ask uh, one thing because i am getting more views uh, for few videos but i am not getting um, subscriptions and likes so please um, do subscribe for more videos and like uh, share these videos to your known people and also mention your words in comment box then we can start today's class ionization enthalpy is defined as the minimum amount of energy required to remove electron from isolated gaseous atom. Okay, so you can write IE. IE is nothing but the minimum amount of energy, the minimum amount of energy. required required to remove electron from outer shell of outer shell of isolated gaseous atom okay isolated gaseous atom okay so this is known as the ionization enthalpy the amount of energy required to remove electron from outer shell of an atom is no isolated gaseous atom is known as ionization energy so you can take this is isolated gaseous atom m is the isolated gaseous atom so uh, you can provide some energy that is ionization enthalpy or ionization energy so then the m will becomes m will becomes m plus and it will lose by losing one electron m becomes m plus okay so neutral gaseous atom will becomes cation okay cation so what do you mean by ie1 ie1 Generally, ionization enthalpy we can consider as IE1 means the minimum amount of energy required to remove one electron, okay, IE1, here I am writing IE1, the minimum amount of energy, the minimum, minimum amount, amount of energy required required to remove to remove one electron remember one electron from one electron from isolated gaseous atom isolated gaseous atom okay this is known as the ie1 okay this is known as the ie1 you can write this one uh, here see this is metal atom by providing ionization energy this metal here the ionization energy you can indicate so with ie1 okay so the metal will becomes m plus and this is also isolated gaseous ion okay one electron okay here also you can mention gaseous ion okay same generally ie considered as ie1 okay so ie ie2 you can write ie2 ie2 the minimum amount of energy required to remove uh, one electron from isolated unipositive ion okay remove electron from remove electron from unipositive gaseous ion okay unipositive unipositive gaseous ion unipositive gaseous 
gaseous ion remember okay so you can take m plus m plus this one and also you can provide ionization enthalpy that is m e i e 2 see this is the gaseous um, um, gaseous isolated ion okay so then m plus becomes m plus plus and also one electron will come out okay so here and one more thing why ie2 is greater than ie1 why ie2 is greater than ie1 because here uh, so you can mention here ie1 um, less than ie2 less than ie3 and so on okay ie3 and so on ie n okay see why ie1 less than ie2 and also ie2 less than ie3 because while removing electrons from one after another the nuclear charge will be increases in that uh, formed isolated um, gaseous ion that is cation okay so because you can write because because nuclear charge nuclear charge increases nuclear charge increases after removing electron from an atom then uh, positive ion will form in that one nuclear charge increases then if you remove second electron from that gaseous atom not atom gaseous ion so that it will it will needs more energy that's what i wrote it because nuclear charge increases okay this is about define ie1 and ie2 why ie2 is greater than ie1 because nuclear charge increases in a uni positive gaseous ion that's what more energy needed okay more energy needed so you can take screenshot we will go to discuss about factors effect uh, on ie okay see my dears next one is factors affect on ie or factors affecting on ionization enthalpy ie is nothing but ionization enthalpy just remember because less space i am not writing complete uh, full form of uh, ie okay so you can take first factor okay factors uh, if you want you can make a heading factors factors affecting on ie okay this is a heading you can write factors affecting on ie the first factor you can take first factor is atomic radius first factor is atomic radius first factor is atomic radius atomic radius is inversely proportional to the ionization enthalpy okay first uh, atomic radius is inversely proportional to the ionization enthalpy what is the reason here because if the size increases if the size increases the distance present between nucleus and the outer shell will increases so that force of attractions decreases on the electron present in the outer shell of an atom that's what less energy will be needed to remove one electron from outer shell of an atom is it clear yes so second factor you can see second factor second factor is the nuclear charge just now we have discussed about nuclear charge so you can see nuclear charge nuclear charge is directly proportional to the ionization enthalpy nuclear charge is directly proportional to the ionization enthalpy because if charge is more okay the force of attractions on uh, electron present in the outer shell will be more that's what it needs more electron more energy to remove that electron from outer shell is it clear yes so next one third factor is screening effect or shielding effect okay screening effect screening effect this one also known as a shielding effect don't be confused okay i am not writing again it here okay um, so sc uh, screening effect is inversely proportional to the ionization enthalpy because screening effect decreases the force of attractions on outer shell so that less energy required to remove an electron from outer shell of an atom if screening effect is more the required energy is less okay yes next one is 
third factor you can see third factor the third factor not third factor fourth factor okay yes here it is uh, uh, penetration of orbitals okay penetration of orbitals penetration of orbitals is directly proportional to the ionization energy remember penetration of orbitals is directly proportional to the ionization energy so listen uh, if s orbital is having more penetration towards nucleus and then p orbital and then d and then uh, f okay that means if uh, if an orbital is having more penetration power towards the nucleus then the electron present in that uh, um, orbital needs more energy to remove okay so that if penetration power increases the ionization enthalpy will be increases is it clear yes so and then you can take a fifth factor fifth factor that is a half filled half filled or fully filled configuration fully filled configuration half filled or fully filled configuration of orbitals okay orbitals if a half filled and fully filled configuration is there for an atom of an orbital then needs i mean orbit uh, that means uh, that will be stable half filled or fully filled configuration uh, configuration of orbitals gives more stability okay gives more stability to the atom okay more stability to the atom okay more stability to the atom so that they will needs more energy to remove electron okay suppose you can take beryllium beryllium and boron okay beryllium has more ie beryllium has more ie than boron ionization enthalpy because beryllium has ns2 configuration boron has ns2 np1 configuration okay ns2 configuration that is ns2 ns2 np1 configuration okay so that fully filled configuration um here s orbital having two electrons okay but here p orbital only one electron so that it is having more um, ionization enthalpy and also you can take one more example nitrogen ionization enthalpy of nitrogen is greater than ionization enthalpy of oxygen okay because here it is having ns2 np3 configuration for nitrogen okay ns2 np3 configuration for nitrogen and also ns2 np4 configuration for oxygen that is the reason nitrogen has a half filled configuration that's what it needs more energy okay gives more stability okay more stability needs needs more i more i i think you are all understand about this one okay um, as it is if you write you just remember all these reasons okay uh, along with um, these factors you can write okay then you will get full marks okay eight marks if you get this question in your uh, ipa examinations you will get uh, uh, full eight marks and also all these uh, shortcuts useful for your um, solving objective bits okay uh, if you feel useful and informative please do subscribe share these videos to your known people and mention your words in comment box okay we will meet in the next class bye students